Overay Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Overay Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. It is Friday, and the weekend is finally here, girl. I mean, I know that we were waiting for this Friday, and in this case, yes, I am a Giselle Tang because we start celebrating weekend on Friday. Okay, so I'm hope that you're doing the same, guys. A little bit of a disclaimer. I don't know. So if you have been asking me about my rise and shine videos that I do every morning, they're still, I'm still doing them, but I decided to move those videos to my other YouTube channel. Okay. So they're still going to be going every morning, but they're going to be on my other YouTube channel, which is called destination and this world. So make sure to go subscribe if you haven't. I have a bunch of other fun things over there. And if you really love to start your day with a little bit of love and positivity, then go and watch my Rise and Shine on my other channel, okay? All right, guys. So it is time to talk about the Real Housewife of Orange County because yesterday was the finale finale. You know, it was the second part of the reunion. The season is over, and we're not going to know anything from these women for a while. Probably very soon we're going to be knowing who is coming back and not, and all of that, you know. But, like, in the meantime, you know, it is basically over. Now, I'm not going to go to the details of the reunion because it was very, like, heated, especially Tamara Judge screaming at Andy Cohen. At some point, I was like, girl, you need to take several seats. You know, I love Tamara Judge, and I stand her. But if you're going to come here to talk to Andy Cohen like that, okay, like you need to know, like you need to know your, your place, you know? And I really hope that Andy Cohen at least scream at her when the cameras were down, you know? Because like, how are you, the employee, going to tell me, the boss, to shut the fuck up, you know? I was like, girl, you know? And I don't know if Tamara is in this position. Yes, you came. Yes, the show was better this season. But you're still just being rehired. So I'm, I don't know if she's, you know, like starting to, you know, she, if she if he just like it was it was just too much too fast. I have no idea. You know, I was like, girl, what are you doing? I'm I'm I'm. I'm a little bit worried for Tamara's future, you know, but let's wait and see. Let's wait and see, because at the same time, it was a, a pretty great season. So. Maybe Andy will just say something to her, but like I was like very much like whoa, right? Um, we saw uh, Shannon Bedore getting a little bit destroyed. We're gonna talk about that in another video. But here, uh, what I really wanted to talk about it was some tea that is being spilled right now because Jennifer Pedranti's husband Ryan, he just went to All About the True podcast. And he just spilled all the tea about Tamara Judge, their relationship, what really is happening, okay? I don't know if you remember this, but a couple days ago, I did a video about a response that, that Ryan did where he's basically accusing Tamara Judge of having revenge porn, you know? He literally, he, I mean, he and Jennifer are staying on their story that the whole dick pic situation was a mistake, that Jennifer knows everything, you know. But Ryan is really asking, like, why does Tamara Judge has my dick pic on her phone where she was not no one near to the recipients, you know? I mean, not near, like, physically, you know, like, he, he didn't send her the picture, right? So why does Tamara has the picture? And it's because Tamara decided to snap a shot to the picture and have it as ammunition, right? But at the same time, it's like, so she is going around showing people the dick pic of Ryan. If this was the other way, if this was, you know, a man showing everyone a picture of the private parts of a woman, imagine how everyone will be treated right now, you know? So he was calling her out for a little bit. But on this podcast, Ryan goes to another level. I have no idea how they're going to move forward on this, but I'm guessing that this actually is going to be giving everyone great storylines for next season. So Ryan says 
that everything the Tamara judge does is an act, you know, that uh, the last time that Tamara like talked to them or to Jennifer or something like that, that Tamara said that Eddie, her husband, basically hates her, that she is coming drunk, coming home drunk every night after filming, that he, that she's getting wasted because and that she is always so out of line kind of like she was kind of like having this moment saying like what is this show doing to me you know my husband hates me everyone hates me i'm getting drunk all the time you know and all of that uh and that tamara was saying all the crazy shit that you can imagine now he he is taking everyone to nobu remember nobu is when tamara throw the napkin at jennifer's face well, he says that before the they were filming and before the, the throwing of the napkin, right? Uh, they were, I mean, Jennifer was with Tamara and Tamara was being super sweet. They were getting glam. They were getting hugged. They were hugging each other. We were, they were loving each other. That uh, Tamara told her, like, uh, do you think that Ryan is mad at me? I'm going to call him. I'm going to apologize. We're going to make things right. Oh, my God. I love you so much. Apparently, like, um, uh, she put on, on Jennifer some, like, lipstick or something like that. And it was like, come on. We're going to make this happen. This is great. And as soon as the cameras were on, Tamara clicked on her head and became a whole different person. Ended up on the throwing of the nap. Mm -hmm. basically saying that she is completely two-faced and that that she lives for the show that everything that she does is for the show and that she's not a genuine person now she's he's also saying listen to this that the truth about casting is that when they approach jennifer to do the casting people from bravo told her do not tell anyone that you are going that you are going through the process of casting Okay. A couple of days after that, Tamara Judge ended up calling Jennifer and telling her, hey, I heard that you are going through casting. So Jennifer is like, what do you mean? Who told you that? Whatever. But she doesn't want to lie to Tamara. And she says like, yes, I'm actually going through casting. So Tamara, that is going through casting at the same moment because they're trying to work on the logistics of how to bring her back. Tamara said, told Jennifer, hey, I know that we have like, or things going on because they were not in a great space. But why don't you go and tell everyone that we are great friends, that our husbands are like super BFF, that, that we are basically together forever. So that will increase the chances of you and me getting cast because we have a connection. Jennifer does that. And that's how she ended up getting cast. Okay. Now, the thing is that Jennifer really thinks that Tamara was being a friend to her, that she was basically telling her, hey, girlfriend, I want you there. So tell this because that's going to uh, like give you the spot and I want to have you here. Little she knew that, the, that what Tamara really wanted to do was actually bring her as a storyline, exposing everything that Tamara exposed during the season. Girl, I mean, what? a mess this is like messy af and there is a bunch of other things that ryan is saying but if you want to know the whole thing go and watch the whole interview with uh the the girls from all about the truth all right this is kind of like the the, the little the, like the very like juicy part um what i can say is look it's very hard for me to pick a team on this one not because I love Tamara, but because I appreciate the housewife that Tamara is. I have been saying this for a while now, you know. Tamara is a damn producer. So she's bringing me mess. I'm going to say yes, okay? Because I think of reality TV as this, entertainment and drama, okay? And that's what Tamara brought. Now, what I need from Jennifer is to take this and confront the F out of Tamara on camera. And you know what? Bring Ryan. It's 2023. The husbands can get in the middle. The whole thing of like, oh, husbands shouldn't be in the middle of the women's. No, that's 
that's very 2012 like girl it's 2023 bring everyone throw mud a little bit of jelly let them all guy go crazy that's what we need for next season okay so i'm gonna need jennifer who definitely i feel that she need, she deserves a second season i'm gonna need her to take this take all of these and really come hard for tamara next season okay and then we will have another good 10 years okay so anyways uh, let me know what you guys think on uh, the comments below and if you're gonna get all the tea related to the real house of orange county or any of the other bravo shows make sure to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you around see ya bye